Hello and welcome to the fourth in the 12 days of Christmas. One of my favourite types of video to watch is a favourites video. Whether it be a monthly favourites or just a random favourites, I really love what, looking at what people are currently really into. So although I've done similar types of videos, I've never specifically done a favourites. So today these aren't like a monthly favourites, these are just current favourites. They're not for a specific month. So, let's get started. I thought I'd start with some makeup products that I'm really into at the minute. The first one being the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is in the colour 1. Um, this is what my makeup artist used on my wedding day. And I fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. She had a really interesting way of using it because obviously being a makeup artist she needs to use a lot of different shades for a lot of different people so she actually had this the lightest shade which is the 0 0.5 and a darker shade and she mixed the two to get the correct one um i then went to debenhams afterwards and got color matched properly to get the get my correct shade and yeah i really love it i always use a um beauty blender to blend it in i use the real techniques the orange one that people have raved about. I really love it. It feels really light, doesn't feel like you've got anything on, but it gives really great coverage, especially over my red cheeks, as you can see, because I don't have anything on at the minute. So yeah, this is, this is amazing. I love this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Rimmel London Kate Moss Contour Kit. This is in the color Coral Glow. Um, I really love this kit because it, and it's got everything you need in it, so it's got your highlight, your um, contour and your blush. But it's quite a, um, it's not an over the top, it's quite a sheer uh, contour. So you don't feel like you've got like a brown muddy mark here. Because I feel if I, I feel being someone who doesn't contour every day, that sometimes like the proper, like the more expensive contour kits, they're too dark and I just feel like I've got a muddy brown patch on my face. But this is really sheer. Let's open it for you. It's got a slight, slight shimmer to it. Hopefully you can see that. In all three, it's got a slight shimmer. And yeah, this is just perfect. Just slipping in my makeup bag when I'm going away and being able to contour out and about. Okay, the third and final makeup thing I'm going to show you is the collection, hope that'll focus, 24 hour extreme liner. Um, this is a felt tip liner. So and you literally just draw the line on, easy peasy, do your flicks, do your, it's got a tapered tip so you can either have really fine or you can go a lot thicker and it's just so easy to use, goes on really nicely, really smoothly and it lasts and when they say on here it lasts 24 hours, I haven't tried it for 24 hours but I have fallen asleep with it on and I've woken up and it's still been perfect the next day even if the rest of my makeup hasn't been, so I love this. Okay, so moving on to a bit of a food and drink theme. One of the things I'm loving right now is, with the cold weather, soup for lunch. Love having soup for lunch. Whether I make my own Slimming World Sin Free Soups or if I'm a little bit naughty and will just buy a tin of soup. I quite often take them to work. One thing I find though is, obviously only having a 45 minute lunch break, Yes, it's respectful to wash up your own things, but having to wash up two or three bowls where I've had to cook the soup in one bowl, transfer it into another so I don't burn myself, it's a bit of a pain. So, I've got this. It's the Systema Soup Mug. As you can see, the top clips off. 
there's plenty of room in there for lots of delicious soup. And you just put your soup in here, clip the lid off and open the vent. That means you can put this straight in the microwave and it's got a really handy handle on here just to take it straight out. No messing, no extra washing up. I eat the soup straight out of here. The handle stays cool enough for me to put it straight out of the microwave without having to wait for it to cool down or find something to find some oven gloves or a tea towel, especially when I'm at work. And I'm on my lunch break and that's my lunch break. I want to chill. I don't want to spend the whole time preparing my lunch. It's a bit of a pain, really. So yeah, really like this and I really recommend it for soups. Also, in the summer, take overnight oats in it just because it's a really good size like Tupperware and fits in my bag really nicely. So yeah, really recommend one of these. And they come in all sorts of colours. I've bought Dale a blue one. He loves it. Slightly sticking on the food slash drink storage scene. The next thing I've got is this Ion 8 water bottle. This is my works water bottle. So, and when I'm at work, I'm not the greatest at drinking enough water because working in a room with children, you've literally got your water bottle and that is it. Can't have hot drinks in there. Well, we can if they're in certain cups and only stood in certain parts of the room where the children can't get. It's just a bit of a pain. But you, you forget, you're running around, you're changing nappies, you're setting up activities. You play with the children, you're running out and you just forget to have a drink. So this one, don't know if you can see that, but it's actually got a measure on the side. It goes up to 650 mils, which I think, if I know I can drink 650 mils in a day, then I've probably had enough at work, because then obviously I drink more before work, I drink some after work, all that sort of thing. Um, I will quite often get to lunchtime and find that I'm actually only around like the 550 mark. It's like, oh, I've spent the whole morning at work and I've only drunk 200 mils. That's not great. It's not good for you to get dehydrated. The other thing I like is, see this opening? So you pull this down. This just keeps the lid from popping up. Push the button. <laughs> it's the little things. But it's also got this really big spout to get the water out. So it's not like a little one of it. <laughs> To try and get some water out you can have a great big guzzle because it's also got this air hole at the top to stop a vacuum being formed so you can literally just guzzle away like so no vacuum in there no that she would noise yeah and it's pink and it's got a little handle i mean i don't know what you'd actually use that for i just walked down the corridor with it like this and yeah so yeah that's my water bottle so another thing I love and this is probably a little bit sad actually um, I really love on a Saturday walking down to Waitrose and I walk down there and just I'll just buy some bits for dinner or some bits for lunch just whatever we need and I've got a My Waitrose card now if you have a My Waitrose card you know that you can get a free hot drink when you go shopping Waitrose. I love this. So I go do my shop, I pay for it, they scan my card, they offer me a hot drink. I usually have tea because they've got a really, they often have the after, Waitrose afternoon blend out which is a blend of black and green tea and it's really nice, really light. But it's really lovely to walk home from the shop with a hot drink it also means that I then bypass the likes of Costa, where I would not have a nice friendly tea. I'd probably have, a, this time of year, a Black Forest hot chocolate. So not only is it saving on my sins, you know, it's just, there's just something I feel about walking along with your takeaway cup, drinking and walking and, I don't know, that might just be me being really sad, but hey ho, that's how I feel. So sticking to the subject of tea, there had to be one in here, didn't there? Really. T2. This one, I don't think I've shown this one on a vlog before. This is Gorgeous Geisha. This is one that I've heard a lot of people rave about. They absolutely love it. It is a green tea. And literally the ingredients in it are green tea, freeze dried strawberries and flavouring. So it's green tea with a strawberries and cream flavour. Not to be mistaken with the strawberries and cream fruit sun that they have. 
this is just really light really warming feels quite deserty but at the same time quite cleansing so I will make a full pot of this and drink the entire pot yeah it's just like happiness in a cup it's so beautiful and one of the things I really love about the tea two teas um, is especially the loose leaf ones is that as I'm brewing especially this one you can literally see the leaves unraveling you can see its whole tea leaves in there not just like a tea leaf dust which is actually what a lot of tea bags use now I'm not knocking the good old tea bag I love the good old tea bag I quite often have tea bags at work it's quite often green tea because I'm a bit sad like that and all my colleagues think I'm really weird but yeah but it is quite nice there's just something about having a whole leaf to brew your tea with it's really good okay so the final thing I'm going to show you is this I'm going to show you my ukulele. Now I'm not just saying my ukulele is one of my favourites. Music in general, especially at this time of year, I love music. Um, I've got a tattoo on my leg of a bass clef and treble clef put together to make a heart. You know, at my lowest of low points, I know I can hit a play button and music will make me feel better. Or it will sing, speak to me and show me that what I'm feeling isn't totally irrational or you know music works wonders if more people enjoyed music the way I do I don't think we'd have nearly as many problems Adam Hills does a really good joke it's supposed to be a joke but actually I think it could work where basically talks about war and things in two countries I can't remember which two countries it is that are at war but he basically says, you know, if we put them in a room and talks about Bon Jovi bonding people. And he basically says, if we put two people in the room and just literally went, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what, oh, one of them would break eventually and just go, Tommy used to work out the ducks. And then the other one would join in and everyone would be happy. Music breaks the world going around. And one thing I also love doing is just getting this out and just busting a few songs so at the minute I'm doing some Christmas songs I did try to record a couple for you they turn out rubbish get a bit self-conscious playing this I play, play it at work I've got a different one at work is that really sad to have a work ukulele and a home ukulele it's more because this one's my baby this is my baby I love this ukulele and I as much as I love my children don't want it to get broken and I don't want to like be like oh, you broke my ukulele so I bought a second one just a cheap one it's not as easy to play because the strings are higher set but I still love it all the same so there you have my current favourites um if there's any products you're loving at the minute whether they be beauty products food and drink tea music anything that makes you happy at the minute comment it below I'd really love to hear from you I really love reading comments that people put you know, so thank you if you've already commented on any of my previous videos. It's really lovely to hear from people. It's really lovely to know that people are watching. And just gives you a bit of a boost. Also, if you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe. Give them a thumbs up. Please give me some thumbs up. I don't have many thumbs up. Please. Please. Go on. Go on, Hit it. Hit it now. Do it now. Right now. Go. Go hit. Go hit. Go hit. Thanks. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas We wish you a Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year The time